Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Edwin. And as a photographer, today I'm going to talk about how ChatGPT helped me in terms of my stock photography and footage. So stock photography isn't just about um, taking the photo or footage itself. It involves a lot of pre-production planning and also after shoot, doing the uh, title, description, keywords, uh, post process of course, and also most important, after sales analysis. So ChatGPT in terms of this aspect helped me a lot recently. I'm going to show you my exact iStock workflow after this with the prompt include. So I am a travel and lifestyle stock photographer, um, hybrid uh, videographer. I shoot still images um, and also past few years I'm involved in video itself. <clears throat> Then after that, I upload to iStock. So ChatGPT doesn't press the shutter for me, of course, but it handle all the uh, planning, writing, enhancing the uh, title and description, and also most important to help me analyze my sales at the end of the day. When I plan a shoot, of course, I want something that sell, right? So um, iStock, in this uh, situation, of course, they will provide a brief with the latest trend for us to refer to. And ChatGPT in these pictures will also further analyze and advise more in details and in depth what images and what footage sell and not sell by analyzing all the data that provided. Now, for example, in if the case that we decide to shoot a beach travel, so I will actually pull out ChatGPT and key in this prompt here list down the shooting list for the uh, beach travel for the weekend. So after I press enter, the uh, chat GPT will actually come up with a list of suggestions on all the shoot lists um, according to the sequence. And after we have the concept, the idea itself, then the next pre-production preparation is of course to prepare the gear. Well, uh, don't get me wrong, but of course, most of the time the gear list is almost the same, but every now and then I treat this as a total new shooting. And I'll ask ChatGPT to prepare their gear list based on the logistics and also the current scene that we're going to shoot. Then from there onwards, I also create a checklist or a shooting list um, beside the mood board we have. And ChatGPT will actually analyze and give me a more relevant based on the team that I'm looking for. So after the shooting itself, ChatGPT also play a very important role by giving me saving a lot of time. I describe an image or I copy and paste the image that I'm going to upload and the ChatGPT will analyze the image or the footage, provide me with the exact title and descriptions for me. This saved me a tremendous of time. So I can just copy and paste whatever ChatGPT analyze and suggest the relevant title and description and for me to upload into iStock. At the same time, the other issues that as a stock photographer I always face is that I can't decide all those similar images, which is the best. You know, as a photographer, we love all the image we create, right? But however, someone will have to step in and choose the image. And before that, I have these issues like uploading too many sisters and too many similar images to iStock, which actually hurt the sales itself. So by having ChatGPT now, I actually upload the image simulates a uh, similar sister image to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to analyze um, in terms of composition, storytelling, color grading. And from there, the ChatGPT will come up with a result, which is the better one and for sales and for, to, for me to upload. So by having ChatGPT to help me in terms of title, descriptions, and also to select the hero images. It helped me a lot of time come to uploading. 
But what about after sales? Um, every end month, when we receive the uh, sales report or statement from iStocks or Getty Image, I will actually upload it to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to do a very detailed analyze on what items sell or what items are not selling. So from there, I will actually paste my report into ChatGPT itself. And ChatGPT will able to tell me what are my top selling images or footage and they're under which category. Either it's a video or it's a photo. Then it will also tell me how much of my sales are from the photo and how much of sales are from the video. Now, don't get me wrong, of course I can get it from the Excel file, key in some formula and get the result as well. But by training ChatGPT to do so, it's only a couple of buttons and type and I can have the result even with more breakdowns and analysis itself. So beyond iStock, I also use ChatGPT for me to build branding. I mean, in terms of Instagram, Facebook, Xiaohongshu, or even YouTube, to create the title, the caption itself, and it saves a lot of my time, rather than cracking and learning uh, what suitable title and descriptions. Of course, before that, I need to train up ChatGPT to have similar thinking, understand me more as a person before I can ask ChatGPT to suggest the title or caption based on my tone, my way of thinking. So for example here, I will write there, um, give me an Instagram caption based on my tone. And then I will put in roughly what is my thinking, my suggestions. Then from there, it will further enhance the caption for me. So this is my iStock system with ChatGPT as a workflow. It helped me to plan smarter, save me a time in terms of uploading and also to understand more of my sales result at the end of the day. It doesn't replace my creativity. However, it give back extra time for me to focus more on creativity and shooting itself. If this is helping, please like and subscribe my channel. So drop a comment with your biggest bottleneck, be it um, your keywording, planning, analysis of your stock image sales, and I'll reply them based on what my understanding and experience.